Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will tell you, as a brief curiosity, how to create multiple solids in a single project in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a truly free 3D CAD system that can be used for both hobby and commercial purposes. Anyone can use this system. Just download FreeCAD, install it on your computer, and you can start creating your own 3D models. We don't have to register anywhere, we don't have to provide our data, we simply download, install and create 3D models. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. Here, as you can see, I have several solids. These solids are not connected to each other and they are all in one project. We have one project here and these solids are within that project. Now I will create a new project. I will close this project and create a new project in the part design module. And now if we want to create a solid in the part design module, we usually do it in such a way that we create a sketch, select the sketch plane and here we create the sketch. I will create any rectangle here, close the sketch and add the extrusion of the sketch to a specified value. Of course we can create the sketch however we want, however we need. I want to show you this with a simple example. This solid is one single solid. If you wanted to create a solid in the same project that is not connected to this solid, for example by creating a new sketch and selecting the XY plane again, and here you want to create something like this, then add an extrusion. You cannot do that because that is not allowed in FreeCAD. We can't do something like this within one body. We can't create two separate solids. A body represents one single solid and when creating a 3D model in this module, each subsequent stage of the 3D solid must be somehow related to the previous part of the solid. If I now go to edit this sketch and change the position of this sketch such that it overlaps the solid, then on that basis I can add another part of the solid. Something like that is allowed because now, after adding this part of the solid, this solid is one single solid. We have one single body here. If in one project you would like to create several solids that do not connect to each other, then for that you need to create another body here. Select the create body command and now you can create another solid. This solid will not be connected to this solid but will be a separate solid within this project. Now we can create a new sketch here, select the XY plane and create another solid. This sketch does not overlap with this solid, although in this case it doesn't matter much as this solid will still be a separate solid. I close the sketch, add the extrusion and this way I can create a solid that is in this project but is not connected to the previous solid. Even if I go to edit this sketch and want to refer to this sketch in some way, I cannot do that in this case. If I select the create external geometry command, I cannot create reference geometry based on this solid because this solid is a separate solid. This solid does not participate in this body. We are simply creating another separate solid that is not in any way connected to this solid. These solids are simply in one project. One more thing might be useful. If we are creating several solids in one project, it may be useful to change the position of this solid. If we select this solid in the operations tree, we have a position tab here and we can change the position of this solid along the X, Y and Z axes. We can change the position here and we can also rotate such a solid around a specific axis. In this case, rotation around the Z axis is activated and here we can rotate this solid around the Z axis. If we want to rotate this solid around the x-axis, we enter 1 here and enter 0 here and now the rotation will be performed around the x-axis, just a curiosity. 
and now another thing we will create another body now we can also do this in such a way that we select this face and choose to create a sketch and here we get information that this geometry is not in the active body and we can create a reference copy like this we click OK and now we can do this in such a way that if we create some sketch here close this sketch I can add another solid that will be created on the sketch plane that was created based on the face of the solid however these solids are still not connected to each other the solid we created is not connected to this solid if I now move this solid the position of this solid doesn't change but we could use the face of this solid as a sketch plane and we could create this solid right on the upper face of this solid and okay we will end it here in this video I wanted to emphasize mainly that within one project we can have several solids but these solids are separate solids within one body we can create one single solid we cannot create two solids within one body but as I showed you within one project we can create several separate solids and we can change the position of these solids in the working area we can simply select a solid and change the position and okay we will end it here thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel